the International Summer Academy on European Democracy took place in Bulgaria, Bulgaria from the 12th till the 15th of July 2012. Several activists, practitioners and researchers and political leaders from nine European countries gathered on the Bulgarian Black Sea coast during the hot midsummer days to discuss the even hotter issues of debt crisis and citizens' participation in the European Union. The Summer Academy was organized by Democracy International. Democracy International is an alliance of individual citizens and non-governmental organizations aspiring to more citizens' participation and direct democracy in Europe and the world. This alliance has been incorporated recently in the city of Köln, Germany. The Summer Academy in Burgos is the first major event undertaken by Democracy International as a legal entity. Как се стигна до това Бургас да бъде домакин на този форум? Бургас е място, в което се е случвал референдум. И то е един съществен референдум в новата демократична история на България. Срещу един проект, който заплаши околната среда, здравето и бизнеса, поминъка на хората в региона. И оттам е и мой интерес към референдумите. И колегите, с които съм във връзка и с които основахме една европейска организация, която да насърчи развитието на пряката демокрация, на прякото вземане на решения от гражданите в Европа и света, Democracy International, реши да проведе тази нова организация, реши да проведе своята лятна академия по пряка демокрация в Бургас. The first arrivals embark on a study tour in the region of Bulgas. The tour presents an opportunity to meet representatives of local government and the municipalities of Pomoria and Nesebor, as well as the regional governor of Bulgas. The meetings provide insight into the history of local democracy and especially the existing barriers to direct decision-making by the citizens. Daniel Schiele, Democracy International CEO, briefs the Bulgarian local authorities about the use of initiative and referendum in German municipalities. About 200 local referenda are being held in Germany every year. Late last year, a major development decision in Stuttgart was taken through a referendum. A contested multi-billion the rail project has been approved by a thin majority of voters. As for the issue of legislative barriers, Daniel Schilly takes a firm stand against high turnout requirements. He strikes a positive example with the city of Munich, where referendum turnout threshold is set as just 10% of the voters. Along with the meeting policymakers, the Academy participants take also time for some sightseeing. They visit the old town of Nesiba, which is enlisted as World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The guests enjoy the view of Nesiba stone's churches and wooden houses, but their attention is drawn primarily to the town system of governments through general assemblies, which existed 2,500 years ago. Inscripted marble stones on display in the archaeological museum provide abundant evidence of Asian direct democracy. It is July the 13th, and all the participants have already arrived in Burgas. The official opening of the Summer Academy takes place in the evening at Hotel Bulgaria in the heart of Burgas. Attending are not only Academy participants but also representatives of governmental and non-governmental entities and just local people interested in the topic of democracy. Athanaska Nikolova, Deputy Mayor of Bulgas, addresses the participants with Welcome to Bulgas, Bulgaria's capital of direct democracy. This flattering address is followed by a musical welcome performed by two young Bulgarian singers, Dimitar Yurnanov and Rosa Bozhinova. It is Friday, the 13th, but the evening denies the superstitious fears of the organizers of something going wrong. The meeting enjoys the interest of the audience and proceeds with the speech of Gerald Hefner of Understanding of Democracy. Gerald Hefner is the president of Democracy International and a member of the European Parliament. He is an acknowledged speaker, winner of the Best Speaker Awards in his country, Germany. Идеите на пряката демокрация у нас са доколко приложими с оглед на това, че 
ние като народ не сме свикнали да участваме в законодателната инициатива. Нито една от нашите конституции, дори и либералната Търновска конституция, не е позволявала законодателна инициатива на гражданите. В този смисъл, мистер Хефнер, доколко приложими са идеите на пряката демокрация у нас? Как са аплекавали идеите на директ демокрация в България? Защото не е българска конституция, has given the Bulgarian people the right to, to, uh, to be directly involved in decision-making and law-making. Neither the, yeah. the constitution of, uh, yeah. of, of uh, Ternovo, which is the yeah. oldest yeah. Bulgarian constitution, nor present constitutions. Yes. Yes, but uh, the constitution can be changed the and laws can be changed. And must be changed. I mean, the problem is that we always think we have democracy, also in Bulgaria. But what is democracy? Is it enough if every fourth or fifth year you have one vote on a party or on a person? And then for the rest of the time you always are only a spectator watching what the politicians do? I think that this is not enough. People want to have a say also on issues, on certain decisions between the elections. The chance of a country like Bulgaria that has no direct democracy in its constitution up to now is to learn from the other countries that already have experience with that and to take the best model for Bulgaria. Model на директна демокрация е, че тя може да се научи от други държави, където има вече такъв опит и да избере най-добрия модел. В последно време сме свидетели на много голямо социално недоволство. Видяхме хората да излизат на площадите в Атина, в Лондон, че дори и у нас. Има много социално недоволство в Атинс, в Лондон и в България. Недоволството ли е това, което е в основата на пряката демокрация? Is uh, unrest and um, uh, unhappiness what is uh, at the heart of uh, uh, direct democracy? The desire of people to take uh, their lives in, in their own hands. Yes, I mean, if you have no say, if you have no influence on political decisions, then you get angry and then you protest and then sometimes you become violent. Ако нямате думата по политически проблеми, вие ставате недоволени, ядосвате се и понякога това избива тези протести. So protest just shows that there is a problem, but protest cannot solve the problem. Протести показват, че има проблем, но протестиращи не могат да решат този проблем. So we need instruments for citizens to speak out, to raise their issues, and we also need instruments where citizens can discuss and in the end decide on the basis of a proper discussion. Let, let me say that I'm very afraid about the state of democracy and the future of democracy in Bulgaria, in Greece, but also in the whole of Europe, because... Because people have the feeling that the most important decisions that influence their everyday life are taken very high up and they have no chance to influence these decisions at all. This can, in the end, lead to frustration and also to, to extremist movements, to movements that are against democracy in general. So what we need is to improve democracy so that people are not only the spectators and do not only vote for parties, but they can 
decide on issues also between the elections. The next day starts with an interactive play. The participants sit in two rows facing each other. Everyone talks to the person in front and after a while moves one seat so as to meet another Academy participant. The Hungarian Chapa Madaras has travelled 28 hours to reach Bulgas and share his fears about freedom of press in Hungary. Ciprian Dinita breaks important news on a forthcoming referendum in Romania concerning presidential recall. Katerina Papadopoulou, a Greek lawyer and an activist, speaks about the deepening crisis in Greece and its impact on democracy. Abdul Rashid Sulenyov comes from the intergovernmental organization IDEA based in Sweden. Korob Fafero, a public relations specialist, is the new staff member of Democracy International. Krasina Demiriva is a member of the Federation of Young European Greens. Erwin Leutner, a member of an Austrian citizens group, has come to share his hopes for further improvements of referendum legislation in Austria. Crisis and democracy in the European Union is the main topic of the Summer Academy 2012 in Bulgas. Several panelists are invited to comment on various aspects of the current situation in the European Union. Daniel Schilly talks about European and German politics. Many of his compatriots are angered by the anti-crisis measures planned by the European bureaucracy. They demand wide public consultation and vote to approval of government decision on the new fiscal stability mechanism. Petko Kovacev, an economist and founder of Selenite, the Bulgarian Greens, comments on the unstable financial sector and rising public debt in Europe. Alexei Kozlov, head of the Russian organization Gresa, informs the participants about the increasing limitation and violation of democratic liberties in Russia. Following Putin's presidential victory, new legislation has been introduced which stipulates that every Russian citizen or NGO using foreign development funds shall bear the label of foreign agent. Abelardo Perez Garcia from France talks in a concise but emotional manner about the need of citizens' participation in the legislative process. When people are entirely excluded from policy making, they may take advantage of the rare opportunity of a popular vote to just express their general discontent with government regardless of the referendum question. Back in the referendum of 2005, Abelardo adds, it didn't matter much what President Chirac asked. French people were so outraged that even if Chirac had asked, do you want to be happy? Instead of, do you approve of the European Constitution? The answer would have been again, no. Meanwhile, the restaurant staff is feverishly looking for French flags at the insistent order of the Academy organizers. Today is the 14th of July the national holiday of France and the hosts want to surprise their French guests with special decoration. The Summer Academy continues with country briefings. They reveal the specific of citizens' involvement in the decision-making process in each of the countries – Bulgaria, Hungary, Greece, Romania and Austria. Dr. Martin Belov, a constitutional law expert, makes a presentation about the host country Bulgaria. He emphasizes the worsening situation with the freedom and fairness of election process. A major problem for direct decision-making in Bulgaria present is the enormous number of signatures required by law to initiate a referendum as well as the high voter turnout required to enforce referendum results. With all these barriers, is there still a chance for direct democracy in Bulgaria? People with a cause like Daniela Bujinova do not doubt that. Какви са целите и задачите на лятната академия? Какво ще се случва в близките дни? Ами, на тази лятна академия имаме гости от доста страни, от Германия, Австрия, Франция, Швеция, Русия, Гърция, Румъния. Мисля, че днес очакваме също един унгарец. Значи ние ще обменим информация, как се случват тези неща, формите, в които гражданите участват пряко във вземането на решение. Пилото чрез референдуми и граждански законодателни инициативи, а на места има и пряко отзоваване на политици на изборни длъжности чрез референдум, както предстои на румънците да се случи на 29 юли. 
А освен да обменим информация, ние ще се опитаме, и мисля, че това е още по-важно, да поставим началото на една кампания с свикване на граждански конвент. Такъв конвент може да се свика съгласно Лисабонския договор. Европейски конвент, който да направи един граждански анализ на състоянието на Европа, на това кризисно състояние и да въвлече гражданите в мерките, които се вземат, а не те да бъдат вземани от шепа политици за тяхна сметка и на техен гръб на гърба на данакоплаците. Лисабонския договор ни позволява да имаме такова излъчено от гражданите на 27-те държави членки събрание и ние смятаме да направим кампания за свикване на такова гражданско събрание, което се нарича конвент, конвеншън в Лисабонския договор. Смятате ли, че като общество сме озрели за идеята на пряката демокрация за България говори? Разбира се, че сме озрели. Ние сме едни информирани граждани. Ние преди всичко сме тези, които плащаме сметката. И ако сме озрели да избираме хора във властта, защо да не сме озрели да вземе сами решения? The summer academy participants break into groups so as to focus more intensely on a number of key issues. One group will go deeper into the issues of direct democracy in Eastern Europe. Another one is brainstorming on democracy international organizational development. A third group is outlining a plan for the upcoming convention campaign. Gerald Hefner and Bruno Kaufmann, president of the initiative and referendum institute Europep, elaborate on the idea of convening a new European convention like the one which developed the European Constitution 10 years ago. The new European Convention will have to discuss openly and widely the current state of affairs and the more democratic future for Europe. At the end of the summer academy in Burgos, several proposals have been shaped, a plan to enhance direct decision-making in Eastern Europe, a basic strategy about putting to work of the Lisbon Treaties Convention clause and a general outline of the future convention campaign. The summer academy concludes with a final declaration, Drawn up by people from nine European countries, the declaration states that democracy is the most important issue of our time. Only good democracy can guarantee good political decisions. The future of Europe cannot be decided only by representatives of governments, the central bank and other executive institutions. Only European citizens can decide on the future of the European Union. After several decades of Europe of the government, isn't it time to build a Europe of the citizens?